All right, anyway, welcome back to the Duck Call. Hey, we're back. I made Hunter jump. Hey, I welcome Hunter back. Hey, <laughs> we're yeah. back from Snowpocalypse 2024. Yes, we can actually get out of our driveway and things now. It's man, cool. that was your rough. driveway would be tough. It was fun. Did you just slide all the way? As I said, well, I at least had the forethought to back up the driveway so I would be facing nose out going down because last time I didn't and I backed down. That was pretty. That's tough. You know, my mm. mailbox right there. Yeah. yeah. So you. Things get a little squirrely on that, but going down face first, I slid the whole way, but I could avoid my mailbox much more easier. And your mailbox ain't got a lot of give. Well, I don't know. I ain't hit it yet. But <laughs> Isn't it like a giant brick mailbox? Yeah, it's a brick mailbox. Yeah, yeah, it, it ain't going to give. No, it yeah. don't give. I hit it a time or two myself. Well, take that sucker out if you hit it. Golly, I'd love to put it on the other side. <laughs> hey, there was nobody on the road. I had to get on a four-wheeler to go check on my mom and stepdad and Rode it a couple miles. Nobody on the road. On just, Tuesday? Yeah. How oh, cold yeah. were your hands? Freezing. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> it was really cold. Riding a four-wheeler in that cold mess? I had yeah. gloves on, but it wasn't helping in my face. I was like, freezing. Yeah, it was cold. I don't. I mean, I'm glad it got that way because duck season's the best I've ever seen in my life right now. In Louisiana. your lifetime. In let's, my life. Let's break That's that amazing. Down. In That's North a, Louisiana. Is I, everybody killing them? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. You guys Even been so. doing good down the there? One, yeah, the ones that are hunting. Yeah. They killed them. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was yeah. crazy times. Yeah. He said the ones that are hunting them. Because like the first well, I, day of it, the first day it was bad, we killed them. And I was like, well, you expect that, right? Because nasty weather coming in, whatever. So the second day, I was looking on my phone at my trail cameras and was like, holy cow at the ducks. So I called Clay. I said, we got to go. And this is on the day where there's no school, nobody's no open. I said, we got to go. Either you stopping and getting me, or I'm picking you up on the side of the road or something, but we got to go. So, Martin, how did y'all get out to the hole where y'all needed to go? I mean, just four-wheel drive. Oh, four, the four-wheelers chains. were fine. Four-wheelers. four-wheelers no problem. No, they, you had to make it out to the four Getting there was a little fun, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, but we got four-wheel drive trucks. long as you give yourself ample time to break. <laughs> Stop and sliding. slide a little bit. <laughs> like uh-uh. yeah, Louisiana I mean, does fine. not understand. Louisiana. I slid one time going to get some food snow. from my parents' house because my dad sent me a picture of some chicken and dumplings, and I said, "Why not?" Yeah, gotta go and, get that. And so I started around the neighborhood, and I started sliding. I said, "Oh no, here we go." <laughs> so my worst one. So was I just the, walked the rest of the way. My worst one was the roundabout <laughs> you, at you Well didn't Road. Give up. The the roundabout at Well Road. I wasn't expecting that to be slick. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's slick. Yeah, I got up to the roundabout and I just kept going. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Here we go, boys. And then yeah. I got her in four wheel drive and, you know, I kind of cut with it and then we were good. Straightened out and took off duck hunting. So that's why I've never seen so many cars on the side of the road just, you know, run off the road and there's wreckers everywhere. I don't know what to I mean, do. Yeah. Well, I didn't just, see any of that. Yeah. Oh, I did. You didn't go nowhere. Did I you? didn't leave my house yeah. except well, to go around fortunate. the corner. Yeah. yeah. Well, but yeah, was, you had to go take care of your parents, mm-hmm. you said. So that's. Yeah. yeah. The, I what I figured out about right. that is just drive slow. Like, my, so my stepbrother, uh, Jimmy, owns Auto Body Specialist. Oh. And let me tell you something. They are backed up with people. Yeah, just, they were the ones posting on Facebook that the roads were open. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't that bad. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everything's clear, boys. That's right. Go yeah. get out out. We need the money. <laughs> go out and go for it. Let's just try it. Yeah, you'll be fine. Just go slow, just like I'm saying. But that was my – I just went slow and everything. Full, slow and four-wheel drive, I think. Because then you get all the brakes working together. And, like, so if you do need to stop, you can. But now these people up north that listen to us may tell us I'm an idiot and you can do whatever you want to. I, that just worked for me. I don't know how to do it. Like, I gave I, up. I was supposed to go to central Arkansas go duck hunting, but I wasn't that brave. Mm-mm. I didn't mind the 30-minute trek here to where I duck hunt every day. Yeah. Uh, not, I wasn't going three hours from here. Then I almost got ran over by Stone. Did you? What was I think it was Stone. Didn't right. stop to say hello. Yeah, that probably yeah that's him. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I had me a bag full of groceries from my parents' house. This is like the worst day. And all of a sudden, I see a truck coming, and I'm walking up a hill. So then I'm like, I think that's Stone. And I wave. Never stops. Just keeps coming towards me. And then I realized, I said, oh, he can't stop because he's going to slide. I can't stop on my feet because I'm going to slide. So then I was like, but I don't want to get hit by a car. So I just stopped and I started sliding back down the hill and Stone just went right in front of me, never stopped, never said hello, didn't honk. He I hadn't late. seen him since. I don't I late. guess he was he's going back to his house. Uh, he was late to get home. <laughs> <laughs> 
He had a meeting. Because I parked right, right, right beside his house, because that hill after his house, I was like, I ain't I ain't taking the truck oh, really? that. Oh, you, really? You made it to Yellowwood and stopped. Turned around. And so said, you well, abort. abort. Well, I walked the rest of the way. <laughs> Once I slid, I said, I'm not going on any more hills. I said, I'm not going to be the guy who <laughs> causes $1,000 worth of damage to a truck or a mailbox uh, just so over some chicken and dumplings and mm-hmm. tortilla chips. A lot of people do a lot of things for some food. Yeah, especially Philip. No. Philip took chicken and dumplings back home from Knoxville, Tennessee with him. Hey, I did that one time, and y'all will not <laughs> let it go. Never that forget ain't, it. That ain't even – so I know he'd have went to your mom and dad's house to get some chicken and dumplings. <laughs> if I'd have known. <laughs> he'd have been over there on his four-wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have gave you a ride, yeah. Yeah, unbelievable. The four-wheeler was a good thing to own the last week. Yeah. Did y'all freeze – anything freeze in your house? No, no. Fortunately, we, we wrapped everything outside, and the inside was good. My hot water tank froze again. My little tankless thing on the outside of the house, I, that's twice it's done that. I don't know how to fix that. Those do that. Do well, they? Well, yeah. Ours is on the inside up in the attic, yeah. the tankless water. Ours area. is built into the brick outside, and the hot water intake froze. I mean, it's only froze for like three hours. But Side, do y'all have any freezing nope. going on? No. Side? Where'd it go? I think I'll lower no, oh, he you slept. Did you, know you even slept. get out of bed? No, he said, "Could you go?" I'm serious. <laughs> nope. You needed I it. I remember. I remember the time that I went duck hunting with these idiots. <laughs> okay, when it was like that, <laughs> we go. We go and are at the Alabama landing. Oh, and it's ice. Boy, that's at the end of the world. Yeah. No. No. And they're talking about. Yeah, we're going back down. I said, "Wait a minute. <laughs> You're going what?" Yeah, that's a pretty steep ramp, too. Yeah, yeah. I said, you going what? He said, oh, we got a bag. I said, hold it. Let me get out. <laughs> I said, because well, I don't feel like getting wet in the pickup, you know, and, and lose the boat, the pickup, all of it, and then get wet, too. Yeah, I'll just be up here. So I said, hey, uh, what I would say, uh, boys, we don't need to do this. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is not a very good idea. Use your noggin. Yeah, that ice was so thick where the ducks yeah. weren't. That was yeah. it was brutal on so getting no. to where the ducks were. Yeah. Because everything between you and them was frozen. Frozen solid. And well, it was so cold though, you couldn't take your equipment into the water. Cause then you know you, your brake line's gonna freeze, everything gonna freeze. <laughs> so you gotta hoof it in two wheel drive to get to it. And my two hundred and seventy pound self on some of it were walking across it, which makes me uneasy anyway. On top of ice? Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah. then if you break through, like it's oh, yeah. shallow, I mean, you're not going to yeah. drown, but when you break through, yeah, you- that ice chunk's under your foot. Mm. Ice chunk under your foot in mud equals yeah. gone. I mean, you I've fixed, been there, done yeah. that. So yeah, You fixed to bust your tail. Yeah. In and, the cold water. In the really yeah. cold water. Yeah. Has anyone checked on Godwin? Water. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. I haven't. Has he touched cold water in the last he, three days? <laughs> what? He did post one of the funniest reels I've ever seen. For some reason, Goblin, of all people, was filming a beaver walk across ice, and then the beaver just fell through the ice. <laughs> did you not see that? I, I didn't see it. I mean, I don't know how John Godwin, of all people, catches that. Oh, no, no, no. But, wait, you, it's, Johnny Deal, I have to pull it up, and you can watch this thing, and it's Goblin narrating it, so it's like, it's pretty funny. I mean, no, it's... yeah. It's no. just a beaver that just falls through the no, ice, no. but it's Stone, funny. Stone don't, you know, if they ain't there, he, you know, hey, he calls me, don't even bother. Yeah. So last year, this was last year, he said, okay, it's froze over. We're going to have to cut the ice over at the lake to hunt duck. Come on, we're going to kill them. So we went. This is how cold it is. A beaver is on top of the the boat run, okay, just, he's just <laughs> shivering. Yeah. And you this know, is an animal that's got fur on. Yeah. And he's somewhere just. You know if he cold. Yeah. You know if he's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, watch Godwin's deal no. here. There he is up there. Yeah. He may have done one on the story where he was talking. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, he fell, fell through ham sandwich. Look, just a beaver standing out there on the ice. I mean, imagine what this poor beaver thinking. He, I'm just standing, standing. Gone. And then bam, he's gone. Just fall through yeah. the ice. Trap door. Big old fat 50 pound beaver. But of course, Goblin, why? Who would video a beaver walking on ice? Well, no, no. Goblin. Yeah, yeah Goblin. Yeah. It's important to have. <laughs> Goblin. Just- but no, no. They, 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 you know, hey, they've done the same, same thing. You know, cut the ice hole and just. But here's what, here's my question for everybody. Mm hmm. Okay. You know, we're in Louisiana. It ices over. The water's got ice on top of it. 
they go out there and just in a just in a spot in the woods, cut an ice hole, and then hey, the next thing that happens is within thirty minutes, here comes every duck in the country trying to light in that ice hole. How did they know you was uh, being an idiot and going to cut an ice hole? They heard you. The water splashing. No, it's just it's, like what you said when all yeah. those ducks showed up. And well, hey, that's a kind of thing. I mean, I would think Martin's no. looking away. Is oh, I don't know. I've, I've found with ducks, once the temperature reaches like somewhere between 20 and 25 degrees, they'll get up and start milling around looking. Like, because when the sun's out, they know stuff should start thawing yeah, somewhere so, around yeah. that 25 degree mark. Yeah. And so they'll get up and start looking. And if you were there and did the work, they're like, oh, that thawed. That looks good. Let me go down there. Boom, 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 boom. So we, now we cheated. We just turned the well on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep kept the water current. Flowing. Yeah, and kept yeah, current yeah, going. Yeah. And left. But we didn't hunt them in that. We just let them sit there. We let them rest and yeah. hang out there. Yeah. Because that was right in front of the camp. We were sitting there watching like 5,000 ducks at 70 yards just Well, hey, both, both people don't we realize didn't fool with them. A duck will sit on ice until mm-hmm. it finally thaws out somewhere. Oh, yeah. I got some trail cam videos of it, of yeah. how they work together to clear the ice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got some on my phone. Yeah. From this there will just deal. be so many of them get on the ice yeah. and bunch up and just be touching each other. Well, these actually, the water had thawed, and they kept feeding right on the edge, like knocking little chunks off yeah. the ice, oh. and they just kept expanding the ice this way. And it, got, was, it was finally cool. They got a big hole. They got a big hole, and then yeah. here come everybody. Yeah. Then, yeah, then they just swim around and keep it open. Oh, yeah, they smart now. It's crazy. Yeah, they wild. So while y'all were out hunting them, I was taking the duck food down to the pond. And feeding them? <laughs> feeding the ducks. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, it takes hey. all kinds. Oh, that's right. We can't hunt at your house. <laughs> that's bait. again. That's so I, so I done tried to run over two or three of them. I said, so I don't run over my ducks. Hey, oh, hey. Don't, don't get in the way. Well, you got about 150 mallards over. I think so. Those are, those are, what kind of ducks are Whistler. those? Whistler. You got whistlers no. and mallards. Mexican yeah. ducks? Is yeah. that what they he are? He had about 150 yeah. whistlers. Yeah. yeah. But well, they're out there. John yeah. David, you watch out now. You know the ducks are out there. <laughs> don't you take a break yeah all right. hey, well, no, no. hey when we come back listen we got something special Sai, si, somebody sent us something special from oh. when you went to indianapolis and a while back and raced those cars remember when you oh, took okay. the car around yeah, the track interesting yeah okay it's gonna be cool and Sai si actually put it on a reel hey i like basically. it when phil turns into producer we'll be back right after this what are you in johnny dude? Like I'm looking man. at my stuff what what it's not like he got more money than me, but rocket money is what I got. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You know what? It's the personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. Sigh, si, look in there and tell us where Johnny D says rocket he won't money let can me help. See it. Here we go. Look, what? what can rocket money help Johnny D with? Si, I want to uh, know your hey, one thing. I'm looking at all these numbers and a lot of money. Well, I, You're wasting a lot of money, dude. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you need to sign up for Rocket Money. Hey, reach I'm over, in hey, the app right now. Reach over there and hit cancel for him. Show him how easy hey, it is. Look, don't cancel that. <laughs> That's the church giving, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> so hey, cancel that. Out the contribution. Hey, at least go cancel down the line. Hey, I'm going to help you out. Go down the line and hit cancel that one. Don't, don't let <laughs> Sai do it. It's literally church, the re- my retirement. Um, there's that Netflix. Retirement. You can cancel that after Love and the Spectrum's over, but not until then. <laughs> hey, what was, hey, what was that 20% about Vegas? Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. He's Uh-oh. making up things, people. No, he's not. But I also he can't do show you because hey. it's my personal finance <laughs> right, <laughs> right here on this handy Me dandy make up app. Stuff. So, Johnny D, I just got a question for you. Before you look on Rocket Money, how many subscriptions do you think you got? Um, just thinking. Don't look. Don't cheat. I would say <laughs> three. Well, scroll and let me know where you come. I would just fix that. It's, it's more than that because I just saw I paid for Paramount Plus <laughs> yesterday and I didn't know I had it. Hey. I didn't know I had that. Uh, hey. I should... I, I've been doing this for so long that then I buy stuff. But that's the thing. You buy stuff again, and you forget about it. You I must have the, bought Paramount Plus in the last two months. Well, what I get you is you, you sign up for the free trial. Yep, mm-hmm. the free you're trial. Like, I'll, I'll put my credit card number in because, duh, I'm not going to forget and let it roll over. Yeah, I'll cancel it. Then you get busy on day 30. <laughs> Bop, you get you get, you get get clipped. You ain't paying attention. Next thing you know, it's just a normal withdrawal. You ain't even thinking about it. But the annoying part used to be, you had to sit on hold, do all the things. You ain't got to do that with Rocket Money. Watch, Martin. I got Paramount Plus, Netflix, Spotify right here. Cancel. Paramount Plus, cancel, Paramount Plus. Cancel this for me. But look how easy that is. He hit so cancel. Easy. He's got to re-enter his password, and then everything's good to go. 
And that can help save you a ton of money. Look, and if you got bills you're paying too much for, they can help you out with that too. They can negotiate to lower your bills for you. Sometimes by up as much as 20%. All you got to do is take a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and it's helped saved its member an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel on one of subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash duck. That's rocketmoney.com slash duck. Rocketmoney.com slash. Hey, and cancel that crap. Duck, duck. Well, Phil, you said you had something for. Oh, oh you're still you, chewing. I'm still chewing. You got, my, hey, you got to learn to chew and talk. Oh, they got this new microphone on me. That's, I'm just going to chew straight into it. Mm. Can we get an adult microphone for John David? They put me in the side microphone. Well, that's because he beats on the table. Sign? Si? Rebuttal? I'm a noisy maker. Me too. Remember the time you beat on the table and, and the producers told you to quit and Jace got onto you and you threw your watch at him? No. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Buffalo Ridge Jerky Locker sent us from Ruthton, Minnesota. Sent us some beef jerky. Minnesota. Of it. From Ruthton. Minnesota. From Ruthton, Minnesota. And he said, let us know what you think. I wonder if they're up there on the ice right now. I wouldn't want to live where you live is what I think. Yeah, but I do enjoy your beef jerky. Yeah, we got a hey, small glimpse. Good. We got a small glimpse into their life this past week. I don't want it. I don't want that. I'll Keep take it. 110. So that's what I think. But your beef jerky, delicious. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really good. good. No, I don't. So Philip, what you got? Philip, you got a prize? Mm hmm. I'm not a beef jerky man. So Rick and Dawn, they came and Rick was on the show with us and um, the Fraternal Order of Police. He's the chaplain. They live in Indianapolis. So we went and did an event there. You actually drove a car around, or you rode with a guy. I rode it. And uh, so they sent us a box, something real special, and I'm, I'm going to break it out for us. We just got it here. What is it? Don't have a mic. Well, he fixed the He fixed show it. Well, I, oh, okay, let me move. Oh. oh that's a huge box. Show and tell time. Okay. Is this a gift? You need the fancy microphone. Uh -oh. You can walk around. What is it, si? Si? Right. To Philip, Si, Duck Call Room guys and family. So, Rick and Don, thank y'all. Yep. And uh, John, Johnny D, will you look and see if you got that clip? Man, that We made a reel out of it when Si was riding in one of these cars. Wait, that's... you rode in one of these? Uh, no, yeah. no. Uh, I mean, it was a little, it was a. Uh... Man, that's cool. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Rick. Got any, oh. any sound? Thanks, Rick and Don. I asked a man, I said, what happens if the tire blows out one of these cars? He said, oh, it's a difference of open casket or clothes. <laughs> and he's wearing that Panther shirt. <laughs> Did you like it? I don't know, no, no, no. He's wearing that Panther shirt. Hey, we've yeah. done one around the track twice. He, uh -huh. I was buckling in, but he was just banging me against the door and against him the whole time we was running around the track. How fast did you go? 140. Oof. And hey, I thought the engine was going to blow up out of that car. But it didn't. But it didn't. Because every time he had come, we'd be hit 140. Then it was coming to a 90 degree turn and he was paddling it on the steering wheel. And it was just wah, 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 gearing down. I thought the engine was going to blow out from underneath the hood. That's how you treat I don't them. want to go that fast. Yeah. That's how you treat them rental cars. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Drive them, blow them up. Yeah. Drive it like you rented it, baby. Yeah. And all you say, if it blows up, it's almost a piece of junk. The best I, rental car I ever had was a hybrid minivan. I'm just going to say it. Hey. Really? He's going to say it, boy. He's going to like the minivan. Add some juice in it. You staring down a minivan in your future? No. No? My wife refuses, kind of. Yeah. We've thought about it. What about you? You're getting you don't want one? It. Yeah, you're selling the truck. You're trying to get rid of your truck. I've got. You ain't got rid of that thing yet. No, go buy it. Really? No. Gator flame. Okay, apparently, I'm a Willie. Was <laughs> have the you only done person. a Have you done a shameless sales pitch on this podcast? I let's, have. Let's oh, do okay. it. Oh, we got a bunch of emails. Oh, I want Willie's old truck, and then they didn't. Yeah. It's okay. I don't really want it either. Yeah. That's why I'm selling it. Yeah. It's a very big talking point in every uh, situation ever that you're in your truck drive through. Why does your truck look like? It's just too much. I just want a regular truck. <laughs> regular white pickup. I don't need a Willie yeah, Robertson yeah. mobile anymore in my life. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Cy just got his redone where he's got a face on the side. Yeah, I don't know why you do that. 
Uh. Do you go through drive throughs with your face on the side of your truck? Because <laughs> Gator Flames does enough for me that I don't want to go through drive throughs Hey, well, so pe- people need to learn how to, uh, to go to flowergeneral.com. Well, hey, that's it. I'm a, I'm a billboard. Oh, boy. You know, uh-huh. Or general, flyersgeneral.com. Boy, good right. looking one, too. And the reason too. when you said, why would I do that? It has to do with a lot Uh-oh. of green. <laughs> a lot. So oh, what's the price for me to get okay. you to put me on your truck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to be beside you. I'm interested. Hey. <laughs> or can the honey hole get to, to get to tailgate? Hey. Yeah, I want hey. to tailgate. So I, point them at me. Hey. Hey. No, I don't yeah. need to talk to you. No, no we're yeah, talking you side. I here. I got, you out. We're then, you got, then you got to talk money. Oh, I do have something I got to run by you, though, before oh. we get out of here. Oh, we'll talk about tomorrow morning. We're going duck hunting. Yeah. Okay. Somebody reached out to me and won't work with you. Okay. Uh-oh. Work with me. Okay. And we talked about it. Is on it here. a is it a funeral home or a crematorium? No. This because one, if your loved one dies, flowergeneral.com. No, this one actually uh, that's, fits. That's somebody else. No, you remember Cy si talking about his new T brand? Mm-hmm. The no, guy that, that owned it reached out to me. Huh? Size si new tea that he's been on drinking. Oh. The, the y'all the y'all tea. Oh yeah. y'all. Yeah. He said he heard the podcast. He want to talk to you about it. So well, I, I may make you some more money, some old man. Well, hey, there you go. Look, I only take fifteen percent. Hey, uh, sir, that right there was for free. But next time, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But well, Tupperware uh, cups, wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Zippo lighters, we're in. Buddy. Yeti, we're in. Yeti yeah. coolers. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's right. Keeps ice longer. Wild grizzly bear proof, boys. Have y'all seen the the obsession people have with cups now? Yes, the Stanley mugs or well, cups. Get a Yeti, people. What is the deal? They're in stock. Yeah. Martin, have you fought anybody over a cup any time in your life? Have I fought somebody? Over my, a cup. Yeah, my wife. Hmm. She brought home one of them stupid Stanley cups. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. Into the Martin household. You're 0-1 then. 0-1? What do you mean? She, I'm sure she whooped you and kept the cup. No, it ain't there no more. <laughs> he threw it away. I no, don't I, believe that. No, I yeah. told her she wanted to, if she had liked the way our checking account looked, she'd throw that thing away. What's that? And it went out the window. And there it went. And she said, it, but it fits in my cup holder. Yeah. I said, Yeti makes one that fits in the cup That's holder. It. I said, why ain't you got right one here. of the new Yeti ones? There you go, yeah. right there. They swapped it around. They they figured out what was wrong. They ain't dumb. Like, man, a lot. Stanley hey. Cup, like she played hockey. Man, unbelievable. <laughs> like she played hockey. Yeah, Stanley, Stanley Cup, Cup coming up in my house. Pew. Whoa, just that just clicked <laughs> for the first time. Stanley Cup and Stan. Wow, a light bulb come on. Wow, I've read a lot on the internet that I thought was talking about the NHL, but it was probably actually talking, and yeah. probably vice versa. If it had to do with Babylon B, it did. You ain't seen that article on Babylon B. I thought it was hilarious. Those guys are great. Said middle aged housewives everywhere signing up for hockey classes for the chance to win a Stanley Cup. <laughs> 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 That's good stuff. <laughs> that was a good one. Then oh. here we are plugging them. Whoa, what about you? We ain't plugging them. them. Bye, Yeti. Yeah. Hey, just get somebody else, please. Like the only- I just, as, as someone who loves this kind of thing, because I've been known to uh, buy them all and then gouge people on eBay with them, yeah. this one I can't do it, so I hate it. You can't get mine. <laughs> I, I haven't figured out how it benefits me, so I hate this one, and it's very annoying. Yeah, it's no PlayStation 5. No. It, yeah. So, there you go. Paid for Christmas a couple times. I guarantee you. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Hey, put it in the microwave, and in two minutes, eat you a hot meal. He knows his stuff. It's Look, fresh, never frozen. He knows hey, his stuff. Never frozen, fresh. Hey, what is that? Beat it with a stick. What are you what talking is, about? I'm talking about factor meals. There Boom. you go. And it, Look, it's something like 35 different nutritious choices that you have to make. Uh, he's right. That's right. Hey. <laughs> don't ever doubt it. This is dietary. What are the dietary people? Yep. Dietitians. Hey, hey yep. they got them on staff and they work on this thing 24-7. I don't know that that part's and true, hey, but they, they do work go very hard. Way, 724. Mm, yeah, that's right, Si. No idea what that means, <laughs> but they are delicious meals. Oh, oh they, they are. are. They are that. Look, and it'll help get you started on your resolutions with Factor so that you're ready for the new year Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. So skip the lines, skip the prep work, mm-hmm. skip the cooking, skip the cleaning the dishes, skip all of that with over 35 meals to choose from per week that are chef-crafted, dietitian-approved, and shipped right to your door. No matter what plan you're on, they got you keto, calorie-smart, vegan, and veggie, 
and more. And you got 55 weekly add-ons. You'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. So whether you want that jalapeno lime chicken. That's a good mm. one. Sun-dried yeah, tomato sun chicken. Sun-dried tomato. <laughs> Black you, sage pork chop. I, I got want, all the good ones memorized. You want uh, any of them pork ones. Trust me. That ground pork fusilli. Mm-hmm. And it's super easy because you got the app right there. Boom. Factor. Right there you go. And I just pick my meals I want for the next week, and they show up right at my door. And you get extra sleep because you're not prepping lunch. There's no rushed dinners. And in two minutes, you have something hot, delicious, and fresh, ready to go. Mm. Boom. Snack options, they got you. Breakfast, smoothies, juices, snacks. It doesn't matter. You got it. So you can skip the overpriced takeout trap because Factor is cheaper and way more delicious than takeout. And it's chef-crafted, restaurant-quality meals delivered right to your door. Again, ready in two minutes. They got you. And if you want a special occasion meal and you want to cheat it, Gourmet Plus has got you. Hey, you can trick like your wife your into own. thinking you slaved all day over anniversary dinner. <laughs> no, really, it took you about four minutes. No, hey, no it's they even got Valentine's Day dinner for two right here. There you go. Right. Look, right. <laughs> it's even better than that. It's like having your own personal chef That's right true. there at home Boom. with you. There you go. Get look. you some. Two minutes or less. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a break. I'm here to tell you. Look, they hey. have everything you need for a week of flavorful, nutritious eats in addition to ready to eat meals. Cold pressed juices, smoothies, energy bites, extra protein, veggie sides, and more to keep energized during these frantic times. If you want to know more, just head to factormills.com slash duck50 and use code duck50 to get 50% off. That's code duck50 at factormills.com slash duck50 to get 50% off. This person said you did a great job with the tour. What tour? The one here. Oh, good. Did I give them one? No, they just are just in design. Just the design. Oh, wow. What a life. Good. Way to go, Martin. I'm glad they enjoyed it. I didn't really have a lot to do with that, to be fair. Okay. Just, so. That's where I was getting. <laughs> yeah. Did you no. not? No. It is. It's great. The tour Jennifer is great. Did if you haven't been, come to the tour. It's dynamic. I'll take a what lot of people What is this shameless there. plug episode? We've hit I'm Flower General. Truth. We've hit the tour. Hey. the truth. Who so needs I, a rattle trap? No. No. So I has fans who write in, email, and, I, and I'll meet him up here and walk him through. Now, that's true, because he always in here asking for a discount. Not for them, for himself. <laughs> it's wild. You make Philip buy t- t- a ticket to the tour? No. Absolutely. No, not to the tour. Oh, but I make, him, wrong. I make him buy merch. <laughs> okay. So, so, ah! All right. So, let me tell you Whoa. what happened. Don't cut, almost, your, don't cut your toe off first, son. That was almost a Ricky Bobby deal. That oh. knife almost ended up in your leg. So, John oh, yeah. was playing with Whoa. a knife. And I'm telling you, I can't feel anything. Cut his foot off. I almost just went to the hospital for sure. That's that. I was watching to see how bad it is. Did you catch that, Hunter? Yeah. Hunter got it. Okay. Yeah. Whoopsie. I'm gonna put the knife up. We're gonna turn it into an Instagram. Uh-huh, that'll be on Instagram later, he says. Oh. Look, everybody needs to come to the tour. Thank yeah. you, Sai. Okay, everybody needs to go to generalflowers.com. <laughs> That's right, Sai. Si. Buy Yeti. That's right, Sai. Si. Look, hey, everybody needs flowers. Yep. That's right. It, they actually smell good and they're beautiful to look at. Okay. If it so, wasn't for this brief call Chevrolet, buddy, I tell you, we couldn't have done nothing without that bright that, light. And that's the, it. That's and it. And the Martin. Sunoco fuel. Hey, and I the, caught that thing on a Shimano <laughs> <that's right>. 7 <laughs> 1 medium <laughs> heavy. I'm oh. glad I don't have to do that every time I kill a duck. <laughs> All right, this is <laughs> Them boys has got to do that for a living is a bad, in a bad spot, man. That's oh, wild. Oh. Like, oh. On a Benelli Super Black yeah. Eagle 3 with heavy right. shot number 4 as the yeah. wind was blowing <laughs> southwest at 8 miles an hour. And because of my real tree yeah. hat, I was able to look him straight in the eye with my tetra here <laughs> and, and shoot well, him dead. Boom. I could do it. So I got a call from the lieutenant governor's office. Of Louisiana? Yeah. Oh, none, you? Gusser? That's right. Yeah, old so, for so, you? No. <laughs> Who's going to call me? They don't know. They, they're they calling for Cy. Oh. They want to they wanna meet Cy. Me so too. I made a deal with him to come up on Saturday and meet him. And it was his granddaughter. And some friends, just one car full, okay? But I really wasn't sure how many it was going to be. And so I show up, meet the guys, and I'm talking with the guy that had helped set it up. And I didn't know, but there's a ton of people here on Saturday. Apparently there was some kind of basketball tournament going on. Oh, it's a new place? Yes. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah, I mean, it is good. A lot of people come yeah. to Duck Commander. So, anyway, I said, hey, follow me, and we're going to ride over to Size House. Well, about four vehicles got behind me, and I didn't know. It was a convoy. I didn't know who. The, I thought they no. were all. I put my hazard lights on and started heading to Sai's house. What? Well, looked like a funeral procession. Why did yes. you put the? <laughs> yeah. Why did you put the hazard lights? Because on? Because I didn't want to lose them. 
from here to Stein's no, house. I'm no, like, that's the stay, point. You, stay behind you want me. to lose this. No. no. No, I'm trying to get there. I think they're all with the same party. Yeah, and, and they're, they're not. The same one. They're not. No, but they're not. So when we get to the paper mill, I get a call from my buddy Mike, and he's like, "Hey man, where are you?" I said, "Well, you're behind me, aren't you?" He said, "No, we're still at Duck Commander." Oh, praise the Lord! I said, "Who are all these people behind me?" He said, "They heard me and you talking, and now they're following you out to Sai's house." <laughs> I said, "Now what am I going to do?" <laughs> Take he them to said, Sai's house. No, he said, "Give them the slip." Give them the I said, I can't boy. do that as I turn by the, <laughs> by the car wash. I went through Balkanville, and then I took my hazard top and came back and got them, and they followed me, and it ended up just one family going. And so, so you I just met, lost those people? I lost them. Hey. Oh, I they, lost them. People are even listening, listening right now. I'm you sorry. Couldn't, you couldn't even take them to a good part of town? You had to dump them in Balkanville? I just peeled out from here. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, I know. That's I didn't know people, what else to that's do. That's how people so. end up in jail or yeah. the morgue. So you literally had people following you, thinking they were going to Sides' yep. house. Yep. And you and hit and you dumped them down there on Smith flip. Street. I, I didn't know what flip. else to do. I panicked. I was like, I'm not going to bring that's 40 right. people over to Sides' house. Panic, boys. Probably Why not? You should have stopped before you got there. And said, Now look, I hear y'all coming to Sides' house. If you really want to go, it's fifty dollars a head. That's right. I would have fifty a head. Right. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. a deal. I would usually sell them for a hundo. Hundo. Well, that'd have been fine too. <laughs> then take your cut. You walk in and slide Si about four hundred, and that's he's right. happy. That's right. And everybody's yeah. happy. Si got to do a meet and greet at his house. He's that's fine. Right. Then I just tell him, hey, poker games on Friday. Night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, here's I mean, he's gonna thing. reinvest. It. If I knock that's on right. Si's door, he just says, "Come on in." You know, he don't know who it is. The door's always open. And he's like, come on. I said, Si, start locking your door. You just got twelve people to show up to his house next weekend. Well, that's well, better hey. than me. Hey. What's wrong with your phone? I called it today, and it just says this person's know. not accepting calls. No, no, I don't know, because I was going to call. He hung up yeah. on and I, I know. I got it, and, I punched, and it wouldn't give me the ring tone. And I was saying, wait a minute. I just took this off of the thing. Yeah. Something, something's uh He's myth. right. He does I'll break every telephone. Look, uh, I was I'll trying to it. call Phil and Cy. Si. Hey. Neither one of them phone. Oh, I'm the robo killer. Oh, we know you are. Oh, I'm the yeah. I hey, You call I, Cy. It's hey, yeah. I sit ring. there. If I don't recognize the number, you get you get killed. Yeah, Time out. How many numbers do you recognize? Well, None. Hey. He just waits to hear you talk on an answer machine. Hey, well, that's it. Uh, uh, that's I just right. say, Cy, yeah. Martin. Cy, yeah. Martin. Cy, yeah. Martin. Well, Hello. Hold on now. <laughs> you, you, you also have to give the date and time. If you don't give the date and time, he calls you back a few days later. Hey, no, man, I just well, no, holler because I, 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 I know that was he's sitting last right week. beside it. Well, well, here's what I do for uh, Louisiana numbers. I'll say hello and, hey, if you don't answer immediately, I know it's a stupid phone call. And it's computerized, and that's why it didn't answer. Well, if I call you and you answer immediately, yeah. I'm not going to talk immediately because I just dropped my phone because it scared me to death. Because <laughs> I'm waiting on your answer machine to pick up to holler at you and tell you it's me. That's, that's right, that's <laughs> Hunter right, probably right. calls you. Oh, Hunter, you don't have a mic. No. Oh, he, was, no, he calls my wife on her Cell phone. phone. Does it work, Hunter? Cell phone. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hunter, Hunter says Christine does respond to text. So oh, right. absolutely. I texted uh, hey. Christine today and said, does I want to go duck hunting tomorrow? Yeah. And she said, I think yes. <laughs> Tacos. Yeah, then she came in and she said, well, I said, well, wait a minute, hold it. I got to go. I said, hold it. I said, get on your phone. I said, I'm going to check. I can't. My phone ain't working. Nope. Get on your phone. Okay, because the house phone ain't working. Call Stone and tell him that I need my waiters and my shotgun. If he's down at the lair. Well, she texted him, okay, and she said, come in back in. She said, I've texted him, and I've actually called, and he won't answer his phone, so, hey, he's probably not there. He was asleep. And he was asleep. Yeah. So I said, On okay. the clock. Do we have okay. waiters now? I got him. He's got, I got him he covered. Got covered. 20 he gauge? I got him. Yeah, he's got that covered, too. I or got the shells. Heavy oh. shot? I got the shells. No. Or if you want a 28, <laughs> you tell me what you want. 20 or 28, whatever you want. I got you. I don't care. Big dog. I don't care. He'd yeah. kill him with that icy stare. Hey, look, anybody <laughs> that can kill three out of three when they shoot blanks, <laughs> it don't make any difference. What He's a legend, boy. Yeah. Hey, hey you just give He's me a, a gun. He's a legend. You give me a gun loaded with blanks, and I won't get mine. Some people would say in his own mind, but he, <laughs> he actually is a legend. No, he's, 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 and a, he's a legend in a lot of people. Right. I mean, they named dogs after him. Well, I'm going to get him. They named kids, kids after hey. him. They only no. named dogs after Willie. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
And then they got to shave his butt and make him walk back. <laughs> That's right. There we go. I'm sorry, Lord. Lord, I apologize. That's right, Lord. I he ain't apologize. sorry. No, Let me go I'm on. not. Keep praying. <laughs> hey, anyway, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. I like figuring out who the alpha is. Oh, well, right now, it's Jackson just based off of size. Not in this room. The alpha in my house is named Lottie. Thanks for the laugh. I'm just joking. Don't hit <laughs> I was going to hope you're going to keep rubbing my back like that. I didn't yeah. care. Yeah. Hey, 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 go yeah. ahead, Ram. big dog. Oh, uh, uh, oh. That's what you get in between the show. Yeah. That felt good, too. Stiff as my back is. Jay D, let's jump in that mailbox a little early. Uh oh. Oh, sorry. Hold on. New headset. Jumping into it a little early. Yeah. What's in there? Hello at duckcallroom.com. Hello. The email. Okay, the first one's going to take me a second because I wasn't exactly ready for that. Oh, but Beth well, you're sent welcome. it to me, um, and now I've lost it. I'm just I wondering did. how many, because I've been tagged in social media. We've been off like a week. Oh no, that one I haven't ice. even got. I like that. If you sent that one Black Panther, I've just said, "Yep, that's," a, and I've moved on. Holy cow! It's a bunch of them. Can I say yeah. that I saw the the John Christ episode with you guys? It was the funniest episode I've ever seen. Really? Yes, I loved it. That guy was hilarious. Yeah. John Chris, he can, he should go into like making people laugh for money. Yeah. He should. <laughs> he can what laugh. I like about him is we gave him like a bag full of our worst hats, and I've seen him wearing every one of them on Instagram. Nah, nah. So, yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. He's so a Mr. bad hat kind of guy. Mr. Chris, thank you for your support of our bad hats. Hey, I hate that I missed him. Oh, um, he's funny. You should. Oh, also, we had a bunch of people. What? On that episode, comment like. Y'all have been eight minutes in. I have no idea who this guy is. And to that, I say, what? Well, buddy, I was about 32 minutes in. You didn't know who he was? No. I did not know I that. Reckon, I I mean, I here's what I thought he looked familiar. I didn't. I don't think I've told you about this. So I'm busting it to get back for that, ep, for that episode from Arkansas duck hunting, like yeah. central Arkansas. And we smashed them that morning. Smashed them. So I wasn't Smash. leaving early. Yeah. yeah. Like, I was going to see that one through. Oh, yeah. And so I'm, I mean, I'm making up time down the back roads of Arkansas. And then I get here and I'm like, man, that guy looks familiar. <laughs> but I don't know where I know him from. And then he gets to talking and I'm like, yeah, his voice sounds familiar. And then you say who he is, John Christ or whatever. So funny. And it still don't ring a bell at this point. He's got an awesome And show. you said comedian. And so I get home, and I'm dead tired. And Brittany's like, how was your hunt? Blah, you know, we're talking about today. I said, yeah, we had this guest on the podcast. His name's John Christ or something. He's a comedian. He Buddy, I slept on the couch. Uh -huh. Did you get in trouble? Because she was a fan of that man, mm -hmm. and he was in this room, and I didn't tell her he was here. Yep. Yeah, He's got like 2 million followers. Oh, yeah. Well, she's yeah. one of them. Yeah, me yeah, too. And she too. said, I've sent you so many of his videos. And I was like, that's why he looked familiar. <laughs> that's why he but she familiar. sends me all kinds of videos. Yeah. But I don't look who the creator of said video yeah. is. I just watch it for what it is. Yeah. But, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I got duly scolded. Yeah, you deserved it. Yeah, well, that's fine. And I appreciate that. And But I also appreciated him taking the time to message me back and say, it's cool. Next time I come in town, she's welcome to come by. I said, you know, I I remember them days where you show up somewhere, and then not only do they show up, but then their cousins and their mm -hmm. uncles and their nephews yeah. from their school teacher, and, and, you know, everybody show up. Yeah. So I ain't that kind of guy either because I remember those days. But he's like, no, man, that's cool. He's like, He said, shockingly, I'm way bigger with women than I am men. And I was like, well, I can see that. I mean, you're wearing, like, nice clothes and stuff. Like, we don't care about that. Look, like, we're more than a Jeff Foxworthy, you know, like bow-legged cowboys. Larry the Cable Guy's hilarious. And Larry, yeah. Very funny. Look, so I, he he followed me on Instagram, which I was like, okay, yeah, I've made it. Um, But then I messaged him, I was like, hey, thanks <laughs> for coming by today. But then I scrolled up, and I, I messaged him on May 8th of 2019. Before he was somebody. Wow. Or was uh, he somebody no, he then? Was, he, was some, he was just getting started. Okay. And everybody loved him, thought he was hilarious. Didn't he hang out with your cousin? Yeah, my cousin used to open for him. Yeah. But he was. that's when he was kind of blowing up. And apparently he put a story about the Atlanta Falcons. All, the only message I ever sent this man was the Falcons blew a 28-3 lead in the Super Bowl. That's it. Wow. And he what was like, life. man, that's probably why I didn't respond. So you never know. You might meet somebody one day. So he's a Falcons fan? Yeah. Oh, that's a tough life. Sal, you like him on Facebook and follow him. <laughs> uh, have you put a little disco guy in the comments? <laughs> 
<laughs> si, good job. Phil, I mean, Sai loves the disco emoji. Yeah. That's right. Hey. Phil's got one move. Disco emoji, American flag. <laughs> and you know what? If life doesn't get any better than that, it's just not going to. All right, I got a Facebook DM. Uh-oh. I didn't know those existed for us, but Beth sent it to me. Slide in them to you. From Ethan. <laughs> yeah. He had a school assignment to recreate a TV intro, but use their school as a theme. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mustang Dynasty. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh wow. what a life. Stang. How about Joe Dirt there on the left? Yeah, I love the, it. Who's the guy on the end with no beard but just a heck of a mullet? That's wow, right. what hey, a life. He got it. Okay, guy on the left, that's just what he looks like every day. Yeah, no, he didn't dress for that. Guy they, on the they right. They may have picked him up on the way there. Guy right. on the right got one of his masks out from 2020 and cut a hole in it to make a beard. I like it. And somebody's uh, wearing a Cuban flag, not the American one. <laughs> and we got, uh, well, Something. I think those kids are from California, so that explains a lot. But And then we do have an actual Joe Dirt wig. Cy, si, what grade would you give these children for this beautiful? They're about 14. No, oh. not age. What grade would you give <laughs> them? What grade? Yeah, they, they did put, this. But it's, oh, a, it's a school one project. To, one to 10. Hey, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Give, si. a ten. give them a 10. 10. Boy. Hey. What are you talking ten. about? None of hey. them dressed up as you. That's hey, an A+. Plus. I don't care. I he, like it. He said. Hey, this is Mustang <laughs> Dynasty. This, Mustang they had Dynasty. Give them a grade. They had, and hey. they had their Mustang in the truck. Yep. This is like, I don't know. Give them a grade. Well, I'll give you this. One to ten. I like it. Right. But I'll a, say this. A+. Plus. The kid on the end is I wearing the same shirt right now. That's it, boys. Hey. Can't beat that. That is true. <laughs> and that's Can't it. beat that. He's the only one that didn't dress up. He just showed up for school. Right. He, didn't oh, he said, he you, ain't, himself. you ain't going to hide this hair, big dog. That yeah. is hey. a red neck. And red mullet, too. Mm -hmm. I like it, boys. Like it. Good job, fellas. I like that, though. That's uh, always fun. And then I got a bunch of people sending in Uncle Si Lufas. We finally James, found some. Uh, James uh, doesn't say where he's from. Jimmy. He has an Uncle Si Lufa. Okay. And then Keith found this in a uh, garage an sale. Antique mall. Oh, I remember them. Band aids. Yeah, band aids. Yep. 100%. And he said, at least it ain't a loofah. But what worries me is like he didn't even buy them. He just took a picture of them and walked away. Antibacterial Keith, I thought bandage. you were a fan, man. <laughs> Last thing I'd want to put on a wound. What Look does Sai si si. say? Beavers si. are like ninjas. They work at night, <laughs> and they're hard to find. That is a weird thing to put on a cut. Happy, happy. Si. You need some of them. If you're too busy to duck hunt, you're too busy. Yeah, Willie'd say that. Right. Willie's too busy, I guess. Yeah, he's been too busy for nine years. When you don't know what you're doing, it's best to do it. Those are clever band-aids. Happy, happy, yeah. happy. But that. I when, actually wore those band-aids before. When they sent that in, that did bring me back down memory lane and all the weird stuff. Yeah. So if you have something weird from the Duck Dynasty days. There's a pair of boxers that were sold at Walmart that had me on the left cheek. Yeah. So please send that in. Didn't get, know. Get Never your money back. It, you get your money back on those yeah. if you send them to us. Please, I signed a pair of them. We're not going to pay you for them, but we would like to see pictures of the weirdest duck <laughs> because, I mean, there's some weird stuff. The Chia Pets. Yeah. We got one we there. Got right one there. there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd just like to see if anybody still has them, like yeah. at their house, or if they all ended where they yeah, I mentioned gone. it earlier. I don't know if we were recording or not, but I there was so much stuff that we had with our faces on it that I never knew about. I mean, because we were so busy. I was in a gas station one time <laughs> and saw a Zippo lighter. I don't smoke, but everybody knows what a Zippo lighter is, and it had us on it, so I bought it. And the lady behind the register just looked at it. She looked at it, looked at me, looked at it. She said, is that you? I said, yes, ma'am. That's why I'm buying it. How, how many other Zippos have you sold today? Like, you know, that's a premium lighter. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I know she ain't selling many of them at the, at the Quick Mart, you know, or whatever it was. I don't even remember where I was. That's but I said, yes, ma'am, I had to have that. And I, I ain't never seen my – I never thought I, – I said, I've made it as a redneck. When my face ends up on a Zippo yeah, lighter, I it. have ascended the redneck.
That's like we was in Texas yep. going deer hunting. And I go in, I'm run, I'm out of ice, and I want some uh, uh, pork skins. So I go in to get some ice in the store. We about to get a lot of pork around. No, no, buddy. oh no. no, 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 no. He likes them hot. No, look, <laughs> so they're, they're all in the truck. One seven ten Kingsley Westboro is in seven one two two. Phillips in the truck waiting, and it takes me about twenty five minutes to get pork rinds and yeah, some ice. Yeah, that's so what look, I'm saying. I come up there. Yeah, when I went in there, there's a few people in there. You know, the ladies up there behind the car. So I, I get my pork rinds, four or five bags, I'm in a bag of ice. Boy, that's a heck of an assistant Send you in the shop. <laughs> well, no, no. So look, I go in there and I Johnny put it, D wouldn't have done that for Willie. Yeah, I put it on, <laughs> the, on the counter, and she said, sir. Uh, I worked for the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, no, you could lady. have your you could have your talent do his own work. <laughs> hey. so, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'll shut him hey. up. But anyway, yo, I said, hey, look, uh, uh, yo, uh, yo, ring it up. Yeah, I got, I'm in a hurry. She said, sir, I need your ID card. And I said, wait a minute. I ain't buying liquor. Yeah, you got to be 21 I to said, buy pork hey, rinds? I said, look, I got uh, four bags of pork rinds and a bag of ice. I said, I ain't showing you my darn ID for that. I said, hey, darn. bring the crap up. She said, sir, you're not getting this unless you show me your ID. Mm. You know, so we said, hey, Augie, and I said, are you serious? She said, I'm dead serious. You know, about this time, he comes walking in and he said, what's going on? I said, this stupid woman <laughs> wants to see my dad get my ID card. Did you say this stupid yeah. woman? No, no, right? I did. I said, this stupid woman wants to and see my ID. And if there's anybody in America that I can said, get away hey, with it. It's him. I said, you know, I, I could see it if I was buying a ba a, a, a bottle of whiskey. Right, because you definitely don't look at least you know, 22. Uh, yeah, you know, and I said, you know, I could see then. Yo, she said, sir, are you going to buy it or you, you put it back? You done set him up, ain't you? No. <laughs> no. So, look, I finally just said, okay, I, you know, I hand her my driver's license. She looks at it, and the people in the back, it's four or five young ladies, you know, she looks at my daddy like that and says, yeah, you was right, it's him. So then she said, y'all come on. <laughs> yeah, and they said, start taking pictures. Yeah, yeah tell, me, tell me, all right, come on. Bring in the cavalry. Yeah, yep. you know, That's funny. Uh, uh, it is. I said, I can't believe it. I've never been ID for pork rinds. That's yeah, a new one. Yeah. That's a good one. I did for funny. pork rinds. Funny, hey, man. stupid lady, if you're listening, yeah. uh, please <laughs> email me. I'd like your side of the story. Yeah. And I'm not going to call you stupid. Uh, Chad B. from West Virginia. You know Facebook's a magical place. It really is. Magical. Full of terrors and nightmares and other things black man <laughs> uh, he's already looked uh -oh. martin there's a 2006 kawasaki cx 1400 mm. 9500 dollars on facebook marketplace right now good grief oh my goodness wait for it how much oh wow it's got size face all over. <laughs> 9500 and i look on, at that paint job i'm on the gas that's pretty good he's on the gas that's did you approve good. that I don't know if you can, a buddy. <laughs> if I had as much money as the rest of the free world thought I did, I'd buy that sucker. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'm not I, the four hey, wheels. But that's gonna be worth some big bucks one day. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. After I die. <laughs> hey, that could lead his <laughs> funeral procession. If, uh, yeah. Right. How funny that's would that, that be? Right. Hey, just do wheelies on side. Hey. But hey. we got to do all go no, all the way to Florida hey, to get him cremated. Hey, go better I'll than that. Send him hey. back. Take me to a taxi Yeah, yeah, we get him stuff. Hey, that's right. Stuff no. I put him, put him, I put him right between them two. Right. We're gonna, right. no, we right. gonna put him in that chair and record his voice. I've already got this thing going, right. buddy. That's I'm right. getting a new chair. Right. I've already made a deal with the crematorium hey, people. Joe Diffie said it best. Prop me up beside the jukebox, yeah. baby. This is weekend and at let Bernie's. The party, here, and let the party roll. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> 9,500. In Statesville, North Carolina. Hey, what I want to know is, what is the speedometer? How fast does it go? I don't, I don't know, but for 9,500, we can find out. That's hey, a knockoff, Si. Hey, you got 9,500. Well, hey, tell si. Willie to buy it. Si, buy that for yourself. No, tell Willie He'll kill himself. Tell Willie to buy it. Send that to Christine and tell her you found Si's birthday present. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a good April. <laughs> I mean, you got you got her a song, but she's going right. to get you hey, a motorcycle with your face well, on it. That's big time. That's funny. Right. We found the loofahs, band-aids, and a whole motorcycle. Wow. I, uh, speaking of weird memorabilia, I don't know that it's going to get any better than that one. Right. I mean, no. you, you, hey, you but wanna, back in hey, the day, oh. there were a lot of knockoffs. I mean, people were putting y'all's picture on all kinds of stuff. There, there's no way they had a licensing agreement with. Oh no, 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 no but oh, that no, artist, no. that artist right there, pretty good. Whoever did that, yeah. Well, That's they're good. still doing it because when I'm out, sometimes somebody will set something down mm -hmm. and say sign it, and I'll say. 
I ain't never seen this before. I said, they somebody's still, making money. They on still Bubba. doing it. That's real life. Also, yeah. Did you see what was trending this weekend on Twitter or X or whatever you call it these days? What? No. R.I.P. Si. Again? Again? How many times you gonna die, big dog? Si, quit dying. I'm. It sick was of Sports it. Illustrated. Oh. Oh. But a couple people got terrified because they saw it was trending and a ton of people were saying That's like that jacket. And they thought it was finally true. That's They're like that jacket he used to wear. Hey. Hey, he said it's got my name the on last it. Like, no, I'm like, no, standing is Si, baby. Hey, there's a cologne called C. They come, you know that cologne, the, the women's cologne or whatever that come out? Uh-oh. So look. We've got something. Uh-oh. So then Continue. let me tell you the story. So so si sees a commercial on that and we're at some event. He said, we're watching game or whatever. He says, hey. They got my name on that darn cologne. He said, Philip, call them up and get me some money out of them. Yeah. I said, nah, that's not you. That's C. Yeah. Sports Illustrated, though. It is. A, you were the last SI standing, and I'm proud to tell you Do that. you still have your Sports Illustrated jacket? Yeah. That's got SI on it? <laughs> yeah. Wear that yeah. up here next time we yeah. record. Yeah. Please Donnie. do. I actually thought that was my jacket, and I said, hey, look. <laughs> I know. Kay gave gonna, it to you. No, no. I said, they need to, hey, they need to talk to these people, or I'm fixing to sue the crap out of them. <laughs> yeah. Kay gave <laughs> him said, a sports. they got my name on this jacket, and I didn't see no money. <laughs> yeah. Kay gave Si a Sports <laughs> Illustrated jacket for Christmas because, you know, she was like Saint super fan there for a little while. They yeah. sent her a free jacket. She gave it to Si. So I wore that thing everywhere because it had his name on it. Si. <laughs> si. Oh, I, I got bad news. I kept up with I it. Said, hey, yeah. How you like that? I said, I got my name on the jacket, boys. If you sue the crap out of Sports Illustrated, you're getting exactly nothing. Yeah. Because they done. Half a naught is naught. You won. Anyway. Is zero is zero. My man, Andrew Parks. We're trying to wrap this one up, but I got to thank him. He sent in a gift because he's the guy that sent in all that Vienna sausage and made me eat it. Yeah, Mr. Snip. Body wash deodorant, baby. What? Bridget, hey. looking at me all weird. And you hey, don't know Mr. Look. Snip? Huh? Hey. So that Oh, that is the ad she asked me about, Mando. That's the thing I was talking about all yeah. this time. I've done free ads for you people because the, the c- commercial looked so weird. And I was like, uh, but does it work? No. I'm here to tell you, Andrew, Mr. Snip, we're going to find out if it works. This is all I'm using tomorrow. <laughs> if I smell, I smell. If I don't, I don't. Hey, if you if you smell, if you smell funky, you like to get Hey, you going to have to get skunky. Hey, let me hold some of that right now cuz I got a pretty good odor about. It. Yeah, he does. Hey, hey. Hold on, that's body hey. wash and deodorant. Urban leather. Oh, Andrew said <laughs> the time good. has come to shower hey, and deodorize that, hey. all at once. That's Faith good with confidence. Hey, that's good because my deodorant is bourbon bourbon. Stay away. That's mine. It is. And, man, I put... I, I, I saw made. the commercial first. Hey, y'all Look. can't have any of this if you're driving. I'm just using body wash yeah. and deodorant all at the same time. Save yourself time. Save yourself money. And read us a Bible <laughs> verse. Let's Colossians 1.22. <laughs> Once you were alienated from God, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you whole... We're reading the Bible, man. Hey, I, know. I have a little respect. Hey. <laughs> I'm starting over. Colossians 1.22. Once you were alienated from God, but now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blameless and free from accusation. If you wonder why we have so much fun in here, there and you, you go. wonder why uh, we can rub whatever that just got all over me and laugh. Older it's because body wash. We're blemish and free hey, from accusation hey, of Jesus Christ. We got the joy of the Lord. Hey, and and low, low key. And look, you won't smell that's, like that's, you This smell. Mando's been here for five minutes, and this is the best this room's ever smelled. That's it. <laughs> hey. I don't know if you want to do an ad still, yeah. Miss Mando, but hey, I'm well, in. I'm just you, telling you right now, this is the best this room's ever you smelled. You just smell like a saddle that's been taken off of a horse. This was what I was talking about. Rolled hard and put up wet. And we're out of here. See you. Right. Yeah.